What's up guys, Sean here. Um, so we're gonna do this entire video using the Jedi. And it's gonna be kind of weird because I'm looking at one lens. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the video from that one lens to do a full screen crop. And then I'm gonna go into the side by side. Um, but um, the scenario that we have today, um, the Jedi has several um, image color options. Some would call them filters. And then um, it also has some lighting options. So if you think of like a log style, um, it also has like WDR, which is a lot like HDR. Um, so it has a varying um, dynamic range um, so that you, he's got a log style. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some short video clips um, of all of those different picture modes. And I will label each video clip accordingly so you can see what the difference is um, and uh, yeah so I've set up a scenario where I've got my the Jeep Renegade um, we're parked on a parking garage with a building way in the background so you should be you should see some interesting depth um, but yeah so um, let's show you what it looks like right now all right guys so as you can see we have uh, the Jeep Renegade we're parked in a parking spot and you've got a building in the background and you've got a lighting fixture um, so yeah this should be a pretty good example um, to give you a lot of depth you got some foreground you got some midground you got some background so with that said let's get started guys okay guys so the special effect here is original and the WDR mode is original and guys, I think the colors look really good here. Um, it's not too overly saturated. It's not undersaturated. It's just a nice mix. Um, it's a nice middle ground. Um, I like the blues on the windows as well as the orange on my Jeep, um, on the light on the side and the greens are nice. It's just a nice overall blend. I like it. All right, now this mode, I switched over to natural. Um, and so it looked like the saturation levels went a little bit down, but I, I feel like the greens are a little bit uh, punchier and the browns are punchier. Um, so I'm gonna say natural look is, is very kind of earth toned, um, but there's blues as well. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty nice mix. All right, now this is bright colored. So basically this mode is um, a lot like the natural and the original, but with the saturation bumped up. So you see the browns are really rich, the, uh, the orange is really rich, and the, the teals are really rich. So everything is just really bright, hence bright colored. Um, and the WDR mode is still original on this one, guys. All right, so this is grayscale. So this is pretty, pretty simple. It basically just took all the saturation out, um, desaturated the image, so you have an image that is grayscale. Um, uh, the WDR mode is original, um, and uh, most of these videos, the WDR mode is going to be original, um, but it just goes to show you how much you can do with this camera, guys. So now this is the special effect is warmer, um, and guys, this is like post-apocalyptic. Um, the sun has hit the earth warm. Um, it's a very cool effect. Um, it's very um, kind of Instagram-y, uh, very uh, filterish, but um, probably something I won't use. Um, if I want to do this, I'll do it in post, uh, but I won't record the video this way. This special effect is because it's called the antique style. Um, and uh, guys, this reminds me of... Um, my grandmother had a 3D viewer um, and they were pictures on both sides. I don't know if it was 3D or if it was just magnification on both sides, but it would have two images in it and you'd put those over your eyes. Um, and this is what that reminds me of. All right, guys, so this is pinkish um, and I feel like this is kind of fun. Um, it's one of those filters, but you can tell the blues in the windows are still viewable. Um, so it's not like completely pink, um, but this might be a really cool filter if you're recording like a, a girl's room or something that has a lot of pink in it already. This would just heighten the pinkness. 
Yeah, that's a word. It's not really. So this is the special effect here is bluish. Um, so this is very blue. Um, I don't like what it's doing to the orange, um, and everything feels kind of washed out because it's blue. But this effect might be really cool on a fish tank or something like that. Something that has a lot of blue in it, this would just accentuate the blueness. Now this is, we're back to original, original guys. Um, and this is kind of, this footage is just to kind of clean your palette a little bit. Um, because I want to show you next are the WDR modes. Um, and so basically what these WDR modes are going to, they're going to change the dynamic range of the image. So I wanted to give you kind of a level set balancing ground before we move into these next clips. So this one is WDR level one. Um, and as you can see, um, nothing is too dark and nothing is too bright. Um, this is um, what WDR does is it kind of um, brings in the overexposed and brings in the underexposed. So it kind of gives you a middle ground. So this is level one. Now we're on level two. And as you can see in the direction we're moving, we're moving um, to less saturated colors, more dynamic range. Um, and essentially what the camera is doing is it's, it's not showing, um, you know, your levels aren't completely maxed out. So you can go up and down on your darkness, your lightness and your color saturation. All right. So now this is level three of WDR. Um, and, uh, this guys, I feel like is my favorite. Um, it is just really good um, common ground it's very this is a dark day and this is a low light situation and what this level three did is it brought out um, a lot of the contrast all right guys then this is log mode um, this is kind of like s log footage um, basically it records more information in um, it allows you to um, color process, color grade your image um, in post and do with it what you want. Um, and I really like this mode as well. So this is my favorite. This is the original with level three. And then I went in and color corrected it and um, kind of brought, you know, I crunched the blacks, um, you know, brought the, the, the lights up um, bumped up the saturation um, and I think overall it looks really good I like the greens I love the orange um, I just think overall it looks awesome guys so yeah pretty cool all right guys so that was it um, those were the different picture modes using the Jedi stereoscopic 3d camera um, has a lot to offer right out of the bag um, and guys I've had two firmware updates since I've received this camera. So um, the development team is on it right now, fixing bugs, making this thing awesome. So check it out, guys. Please like, subscribe to my channels, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more content on the Jedi. Peace out.